Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello, good morning and welcome back to the channel where you join me in Malibu for today's fuel run, the run up to car week. We are of course going to be driving in the Ford GT which has just had its new exhaust fitted and I can't wait to experience more of that on the amazing roads we're going to be discovering joined by what must be a hundred supercars here. We've got GT2 RSs, Aventador SVJs, in fact that one looking very nice right here. We've got Hurricanes, Speciales, some Novatec cars as well. There are a lot of very nice cars around for fuel run today an event I first did actually five years ago but back again now to join with my car here in the US. Let's do this then, today we're running up to car week. It is time for the rollout, GT3 RS and Lizard Green, 570S, Rentec, AMG, GTR but come through here we've got Autovlog in the white F12, we've got Dr. M3 in the purple Mante, R8 Spider, GT3 is everywhere, I'm darting through, we're going to see some of the cars out, <laughs> got to be careful around here, we've got Pet Fred in the GT3 RS, that car actually came in the same transporter as mine, Novatec and Largo 720 heading out but you can see the sights and sounds and noises of all the cars, so many cars around, this is the car that I filmed with before, currently actually running on a Texas plate but that one's been out to Dubai to the UK for loads and loads of events and things. That AMG GTS was also on the same transporter as mine. Look at this as all we've got is head on out. Sounds of everything around us. GT3, Hurricanes, Astons, Porsches. We've got a GTR over there too next to a Stratos. A new GT3 RS, a 600 LT Spider SVJ. Come have a look at this SVJ. Sounds of all the engines that are around us. Oh, Savage Garage. Listen to all of this. Oh, that's kind of funky on the front of the F-Type. What else do we have? I think actually I'm probably going to have to go and get in my car. It's still going to be happening very, very quickly. The engine's running just about everywhere. Listen to that. The taxi. <laughs> what a taxi. Right, let's step in here. Although I suspect we're barely going to hear the startup sound at all over all of the different engines that are actually running around us. But get it into that actually, that worked all right. We've got the radar detector, we're all geared up for the occasion. Right, windows down, just to see all of this. Hear the sounds of the cars blasting out. Let me pass over the camera, and then we will be quickly joining this line and getting on the move. I think we should go behind the SVJ, just over to the right of us. SVJ, the Aventador on ridiculous steroids like no other. So of course all of these cars with very low front ends are having to deal with these bumps down here, this, this kind of dip that you have on the ground which is a very American problem to have. We're all good though, I did have to fuel up the car but we're already down I think about, yeah we were already taken out a quarter of the tank just even getting to the start of the event. Um, this is going to be the problem for the day today. Everybody's taking this very easy. <laughs> this car really isn't too bad. a fuel run. I might actually just wait and let uh, at least one person come past us. Let's give him uh, the, uh, the go ahead. <laughs> oh, that sounds nice. <laughs> what a view. Supercars in this view. Wow. Is that a fireball out the back of that? It's a Turbo S with a wing actually. Here, the radar detector going nuts. What do we have next to us now, coming past? Exhaust and can drive like this as a complete pack 
up the Pacific Coast Highway. We are literally next to the Pacific Ocean, just here. We've come out of Malibu where we started. This drive today is like 350, 400 miles or so. It's gonna take us nine hours, I think, with all the stops and the routes and the twisty roads. But what a way to get started to enjoy this car, but also just to have a look at all of this. And obviously, like I said earlier, that Turbo S, the white one, initially I thought it was a GT3 RS from the body kit that it's wearing, but you can tell from the pops, the engine sound. Success, we've actually got four miles to empty in total. I need to use the lift system to get up here. But yeah, we've made it four miles to empty, just what you want in a car like this. Let's go to the end point. Check out this 
view. We are arriving towards our lunch stop, which I think is down here towards the bottom. But look at that stunning, stunning view that we have here. But this is really, this is the first bit of road trip, the first proper bit of driving I've done with this car. I think probably the most miles I've done in it in a day ever. Yeah. It, Woo! We are driving onto the pier. <laughs> <laughs> There's something about this that feels a little bit wrong, but hey, adding to the places that this car will have ventured in its journey here in the US, in fact it actually looks quite full in front. So this is where on these bumps you need to put the car into normal mode and then press the button in the centre console that you've got down here for comfort, suspension, and it gets a little bit softer. How amazing then is this view? The rock in the background, the sea just behind us, and then these two parked side by side. Of course, we've been taking some photos, and earlier, of course, we were driving with the two, chasing kind of the Enlargo 720S in the Ford GT, but just look at this thing. The color of it is stunning. And you might remember, I actually went to Novatech Space in Germany when the 720 Enlargo was launched to film a video with it. But just quickly to show you around, you've got all the exposed carbon fiber, this double layered wing, carbon here over the back of the engine cover as well. New wheels for it are sitting much, much lower. It's about 15 centimeters or so wider than the standard car, a limited run. They're only making a few different pieces of this complete conversion kit for the car. But in the sunshine, with this view, my car alongside it, what a drive. The roads here in California, chasing some of these supercars, including that in mine and enjoying the exhaust sound as well. And in fact, with the sun on the car, come and have a look at this. The way the sun beams down on those new exhaust tips, the titanium exhaust tips, look at how they go kind of golden. Actually, they're starting to blue and Side already look at that look how cool that is I don't know if you can see it properly on the camera but the insides from the heat the way titanium works they are starting to blow inside we've got the GTR as well coming past too at the moment just parked here out on the pier very excited about that but this is our lunch stop all the cars are parked up plenty of cars around um, and I think I need to run in actually to get a bike to eat before I end up actually missing lunch before we continue the drive later on having hopefully a little bit more driving with this as well chasing it around the roads as we make our way up towards Monterey <laughs> <laughs> We've quickly jumped back in the car then. We are running a bit behind the rest of the pack at the moment after lunch. Basically everyone else has kind of set off and um, we need to play a bit of catch up. But we are of course following the Enlargo, which is the best way to go about this. That's so how we go. I don't think you're going to be able to hear the exhaust of this car over the top of that at all. Um, that's just going to drown us into like silence. Listen to it just manoeuvring. And that's with our windows closed. We need to uh, work out how to squeeze through here. <laughs> Sadly, we weren't just behind him. We got stuck uh, a car back from a stop sign, but that sounded nuts in the tunnel. We found some of the other cars. <laughs> okay, so watch out for the cyclist here. Then, who goes? Who goes? This guy goes. Then I go. Stop signs, hey, carnage. Absolute carnage. Right. Here we go. Whoa! I'm sure you guys just saw that. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Fireballs out the exhaust there on the end Largo. So good, the wing pops up into its aero mode. And what you just saw, which was really cool, was the DRS system. When he put his foot down, the wing sat flat. And then, of course, the air brake when it flew up in the air. And this, by the way, is Team Lone Sharks on Instagram. If you want to give the guys a follow, pop their link down below with the NLG. It's such a crazy thing. It's so wide. It looks like it's eaten up the 720S. Can I see the 720S inside this even bigger, wider, crazier thing? Traffic at the moment, and a sheriff coming. 
coming the other way, pulled into a side exit, span a Yui, and pulled out in a complete dramatic rush that you might just be able to spot. He is now two cars behind, and we are basically wondering, are his lights about to come on for something? Although if they do, he definitely didn't get speeding because that wasn't happening. So let's see what happens. Maybe he's just keeping his eyes on us and making sure that we're being well behaved today um, as we cruise towards the coastline. In fact, if you look at the nav here, you can actually see most of the coastline um, just out towards the side. Oh, he looks like he's turning off. And there goes the end of our fun. Not today. Now these are the kind of roads we've come here for. What a stunning place to be driving. Unfortunately, there are a few too many clouds off to the left to actually see the fact that we are driving beside the sea line, the coast right here. There's some stunning roads, some amazing views. Right, there we go. You can see a little bit of what this place looks like. Absolutely breathtaking. The ground does exactly what you want, meandering left and right, ups and downs. And uh, maybe we're about to hear the uh, full-on sound of the Novatec. of the car just look at this look at this right now absolutely stunning of course we are still with the enlargo in fact quite a few of the drivers have pulled in here but this is breathtaking pch taking some pictures with the cars i hope that nobody is offended we did remove the fuel run stickers from the side just because of the photos we're taking in fact we made fuel rock except i'm going to take that home because i'm not going to litter like that um, but yeah not a bad view hey not bad at all <laughs> This time we had about 10 to empty, so we were a little bit better off. We're now all gonna drive out together, and as you can see, we've got quite a lot of cars here. Aventadors, GT3 RSs, there's an older Ford GT, previous gen, red and white stripes. I don't think it's with fuel run, but it looks epic nonetheless. None of the tech just looks crazy. I'm not sure who's leading this, if anybody is even leading this. And of course, we've got a Raptor just in front of it, a Shelby. Nice. Um, yeah, no one wants to take the lead, so we all just chill, I guess. Oh, the F12 just pulled up the back. We are following the 
Aventador SV, but it has pretty much become a bit of a slow procession now. But this in front of us is the Bixby Bridge, Bixby Creek Bridge, which I think means we're only about 20 minutes or so away. But we will go over it with a bit of a lineup. I think we're probably with most of the cars from that fuel station fill. Uh, just a bit of construction as well, which makes things take a little bit longer. But the sun's setting, it's looking very bright out to the left across the sea. Um, very bright indeed. What an unbelievable run this has actually been today. Stunning. Stunning, stunning drive. And we have 4GT and 4GT! <laughs> anyway, we're off this way. We're basically here now. This is kind of the uh, home stretch into Carmel. This is it then, the turning onto Ocean Avenue. I think earlier on I said Ocean Drive. I had Miami on my mind. Of course, Ocean Drive is where I stopped over there. But this is going to be and bring us into town. Over to the left, C63 Black Series in satin black. That's very nice. That was really loud and antisocial. My ears. That was timed. He definitely did that. I'm holding my ears in case they'll do it. No, no, he's good. Okay, oh, oh, watch out. And here we are then on the main road. Lots of people around and one very bright, recognisable Murcielago there. From One Daily Driven Exotics, Damon. What else do we have around? A few nice cars parked up on the other side of the road. Feels like it might be a challenge though to find a space, but we'll see what we can find. Oh look, we have Alex Joy 720S. We have the Vorsteiner 570 that I'd seen before as well. I wonder what else is around. Oh, hello over there on the left. A pista. A 570 wrap like the Santa GTR, that's quite cool. Squadra Corsa, add a Squadra Corsa. Basically, you like find a space, see what you can do. 650S over there, on Speedster, find it. Cool, cool. Just doing a turn around in front of us. G3RS. Ah, oh, this one sounds loud. It sounds really loud. Not when it's being driven like that, it doesn't. I just wanted to come and welcome you. How are you? To Monterey Car Week, sir. How you doing? Uh, good? I think I just spilled some of this on your Ford GT, but you're good. We'll sell that. How are you guys doing? I'm good. How was your drive? Amazing. Good, your good car's stuff. beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> well, uh, I'm like, could you put a good word in for me at Ford? They, they, they don't <laughs> like me apparently. Or, uh, or James or any of us. Oh hey, well. Drive safe. See you in a sec. <laughs> I also just realized how loud that special is. Well, we've just seen it at gas stations, but we haven't yeah. seen it on the road yet. <laughs> Case in point, yep. it's really loud. <laughs> We are parked up then, but have a look at this. The exhausts are getting a little bit blue, just as they should, of course, being titanium. Lots of heat going through them today, but that's what you like to see. That means the car has been driven properly. Although, to be honest, if you did then leave the car parked up, they would actually kind of revert back to normal. But right now, looking very healthy and happy. That was quite loud, wherever it came from. There are nice cars around everywhere here. Dawn just behind us. But yeah, we pulled up here, loads of people around. <laughs> that was jokes. That was very funny, and um, we'll see what happens now. You know what, though? I am exhausted. That's been a very long drive. I'm still just keeping my eyes peeled for whatever cars might be coming down the road here. This is literally the center of. I suppose car spotting in this area. There's going to be a very, very busy weekend or car week ahead. A lot of events, Quail, Pebble Beach, a few other things behind the scenes as well. So lots to show you, lots to film. What a good start to it. Coming with Fuel Run, driving the GT, enjoying the exhaust, chasing the Novatec and Largo, the 720S, and some of the other cars that were taking part. This has been an epic, epic day. I can't wait for the things that are coming up very soon. So thank you very much, as always, for watching, guys. I appreciate your support. I hope you're enjoying this adventure with the GT here in the USA. That's it for now though, I'll see you again very soon. Cheers!